Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to Trilogy Gaming. Today, we have Madden 24, Real Love Franchise, Episode 16. Last episode, Gino put up back-to-back -back Offensive Player of the Week for NFC West. Uh, or NFC, I should say, in general. But honestly, I think K9 probably deserved it a little bit more than Gino. Uh, but Gino had four passing DDs. You know, quarterback's going to get it. We are right now in a very crazy position. I know the difficulties you know, easier than it's not the highest or second highest, you know. So it's like, I get it. It's it's going to be easier. We're 9-0, and 49ers 7-2. We're playing seven, a 3-7 and seven Cardinals. And as we see here, they are a struggling opponent. Struggling. Uh, I'm just going to say no fear because I do not want to be smug about this. Because if any team's going to surprise the Hawks, it could easily be the Cardinals. Um, you know, we have a prospect. We're not going to listen to him. I honestly don't know if we'll do a second season with how close Madden 25 is. But we, we might do another draft and do a quick mega episode where we sim a bunch and do stuff like that. Let me know down in the comments. But we have a focus player to scout. Um, you know, one of three here. And... Ultimately, when we look at our biggest things, offensive line is a killer. Middle linebacker is a killer. And so I think we have to go down there and see if there's someone. And round one and two, you know, we see a B here. Right? These could be, you know, there's double A's, double B's here. Uh, this is tough. I think Washington State, Dante Davis is there. Uh, we also look look at right guard. Oh, there's a couple. I think we have to try Alex Spearman from Louisville. And then middle linebacker is such another major one. There isn't really that great. I mean, tackle B to D. Meanwhile, tackle zones are Bs. I think we'll check this Zach Kennard from Oklahoma. And we'll confirm these three just out of the way, get that done, and we'll move on from there. Now, we obviously know we have some upgrades uh, from training. Devin Witherspoon, okay. Witherspoon with massive one goes up to 89 overall, playing up to a 91 currently. Uh, plus two awareness, one catching, two man, plus two press. Okay, press is playing up to an 80, uh, 85, it's 84. Crisk basket. Uh, just goes up to a 67 run star, but that's, you know, kind of too bad for him. Plus one speed, though, for the rookie. 85 speed. If he can keep developing, man, he might be okay as depth just because of his, his like, athleticism. A uh, run stopper, Austin uh, Fowlou. Fowlou-y? Fowl Anyways, he goes up. I'm not going to try to pronounce it, you know. We'll look, you know. <laughs> but... Okay, before we decide how we play the game, there is the real, the challenge real. Let's give it a spin. Play defense only this week. Now, last time we did this, there was some issues with our offense not putting up points. It's time to play defensively, guys, against the Cardinals this match. Um... No oh boy. This match could easily go sideways. I got to be honest. This match could easily go sideways. We're on defense. Give me my linebacker, please. Let's go into Sullivan here, I guess. No, I think he's more of a corner. Oh, we left someone wide open. Good break up there by Witherspoon. Okay. I think we're going to go, I kind of want to go cover one hole. We're going to Rosu. We're going to try to go and cover. Oh, no. He has an angle. He's got the touchdown. Where the spoon can't get there in time. God, that was such a bad angle by Bryant. And we just let up a touchdown, and we can't go and capitalize on anything. I changed that play way too quick. I didn't get set. I need to be smarter, man. Like, defense, I'm so used to having knockouts and stuff. 
that I'm playing way too like soft thinking oh as long as I'm within range I can knock out I need to play tighter I need to be smarter that's just me getting confident from freaking ultimate team abilities oh see an ultimate team you would have pick artists and that would be an INT but instead nothing happened there the guy was too slow he wasn't really even trying for the ball this is gonna this could be the loss. This could be the loss. Brian gets a tackle there. Draymond Jones goes out injured right now. This is the fall apart game. This is it. I'm pulling off a little bit. I could see myself getting stuck on the end. Bryant. Oh, big hit, but nothing came loose. Adams, good hit, only a yard. No, we're going to substitute for now. I think we're going to stick in zone, just keep everyone in front of us. Here's Cummings, our actual leader at middle linebacker. Uh oh, and Witherspoon, oh, thank God. I think, I think we need to stick man-to-man -man and just not let them beat us, but they are beating us, which is tough. Uh, Narosio, I'll cover tight end. Um, oh my god, dude. The cornerback, like, just froze. This is, this is falling apart. This is going to be the loss. Witherspoon tries to get in there and disrupt stuff, but yeah. This whole Seahawks defense needs so much help. Like, talent rise and everything, but... Bryant doesn't even do anything, dude. God, Bryant is such a crap player back there. Dude, he's done nothing. He's taking poor angles. He's not hitting anyone. Even when I tell him to hit, he's missing. They pick up another TD. Yeah, this is the loss. I feel in my bones. This is absolutely the loss. Well, that's unfortunate, man. It, it, it's frustrating, though. Like, I can tell I'm so used to Ultimate Team getting those massive, like, hit sticks, pressing on crap. I just gave that up by talking. Um, you know, having Avalanche. You know, having the press and stuff. I'm just... I, I'm playing so poorly, and I know exactly why. It's because I've gotten so overly comfortable allowing abilities to cheese the goddamn game that I am just not. Oh. Okay, did we see how right there one of our players, a.k.a. a linebacker, tried to at least intercept it? Our safety, Adams, didn't even try shit. Man, I'll say this. If we roll on trade a player away, I don't care if it makes our team worse. I'm getting rid of Jamal Adams. Hands down. Again, it'll be Bryant, I literally told him to dive at his feet, and he just falls to the ground, dude. Bryant's a goner, too. This is a blowout. This is a blow. This is, this is going to be a major loss. We've lost this one so bad, dude. Oh, my God. And where this room can't do it. And Bryant once again overshoots it and isn't there doing his job. Thankfully, Tweak Woolen is. God damn, Bryant. How awful are you, man? Bryant's proving why this team is struggling right now. He's like the biggest piece. We need an interception. We need to allow no more points here and allow our offense to get back into this game. I got to also stay a little bit more focused on my target. Oh, my God. Dude, turn around. Give me Wolin. Wolin, jump on it, please. Oh, at least Jamal Adams is there. I'm literally telling him to try to move forward the ball, and he doesn't. And our offense does nothing, dude. 
That's devastating. We need to capitalize there. I I took that route because I thought number fucking luck artist and pick artist and all that is throwing off my ability to play this game regularly. Because right there in Ultimate Team, that would have easily been a pick with Luck Artist. Um, Witherspoon, INT. Cannot offensive. I will say right now, if our offense does not score before this half, we have lost. Thank God. Hope is still there. Man. That is rough. Like, I got to start playing a little bit more. Took a timeout. They have only one left. We need, a, we need to cover deep. We have to. A breakup. Okay, it's third and inches. See, here, they even though they, you know, it's like, okay, good. The ball came out. It stops the clock. It's third and inches, you know? 26 seconds left. If I intercept this. Oh, Tariq Wolin. Okay. They're in range to get us points. I've done everything I can here. It's 10. It's 16 to 21. This is a game now. This is a game. We got this. On first and 10. That first missed tackle screwed us because there was a there was a hole right behind it for them to just absolutely take advantage of. I'm gonna come off the press a little bit. Uh, we try, we try, we miss the hit stick. I think we're gonna blitz here. See what happens. This might just give up a big play, but it's a breakup. Second and ten. Play arts distorted for the home team. This is an away game for us, but my God. Third and ten. We're holding them here. This could be the chance to take a lead. If we can get this ball back. Also, we picked him off twice, and he's had a fumble running. So I wonder if that is changing his decision making. And a sack puts him back six. Reed with a massive sack, guys. Oh, and we're going to get this ball back. Wait, do I control special teams here? Oh, I was going to say if I could get control of the ball, I could try to return it. And I could help our offense get into good position. But it kicked it out of bounds. Damn, dude. That that was a moment I so thought was going to be something I can interact with. We didn't even score. Come on, offense. Stop fucking me here. Like, do something. Hello? Give me somebody? Hello? Did you see it? Didn't give me anybody? What the fuck is this game? That's the game wanting me to lose right there. How I'm literally hitting to transfer to any other player. There was three I could see on the screen. Gave me none. Wouldn't let me switch. Great game. Great game, Madden. That's frustrating. Because that, that's the game designing I deserve to lose. Right there. That's the game deciding you've won too much. Now we're going to make sure you lose no matter what you do. Not allowing me to switch. Players fumbling all over themselves. Players taking shit angles when they haven't. When I've used them prior to this. <sighs> fucking Bryant tripping up his own players. I might fucking trade Bryant. I mean, I can't unless we roll it. But I'm almost hoping we can lose to get a trade. And hopefully it's one I get to choose. Because be right now it's Bryant. Because, yeah, this is pissing me off right now. The game is absolutely sabotaging me in the worst fucking ways. It's not even a fair, fun, like, oh, it's just playing good. It's literally tripping up players. It's, you know. Sullivan with an INT. Oh, can we actually return this? I think we can. 
That was just a poor route, but yeah, we actually can. All my bitching and moaning, and that happens. Now I look like a dumbass and a fucking asshole. But the switch, you could literally go back and look. You could see three of Seahawks on the field in front. I should switch to any of them to try to take advantage to stop. Nothing pops up. You know, that's bullshit to me. That's the game trying to sabotage a player. And that's not cool. That's not cool. So at this point, we have the lead for the first time. Tackle here. They pick up five, which is unfortunate. But as long as we don't allow them to score and we can get some more points, I mean, this game could end up being a winner. This is stressful, man. Because it's like, I understand that the team, like it's a trap game. Wow. Was that Kobe Bryant getting in the way of two of the players again? I think it was because I was on Jamal Adams. And that was Witherspoon who tackled him by the shoelaces. There was a third player in there. I think that was Bryant. Cummings, great. Tackle for loss. They lose two. I want to keep everything in front of me. But, yeah. Oh, good hit stick. It's third and inches, though. I think we go for a weak blitz. And I will read whether I want to cover somebody or go in a late blitz. Oh, a breakup. It's fourth and inches. Do they go for it? They do. Because I could see where they might just take a long field goal attempt. Oh, and a breakup, we get the ball back. This is big. Our offense needs to drain clock and get some points. And we drain clock and we win. What a match defensively. So hold on. Screw anything on offense because I don't even want to look at that yet. Let's talk about our defense. So solo tackles, Kobe Bryant led, but also Kobe Bryant kept getting in the way of everybody. Assists, Devin Witherspoon, Cummings, yeah. I think what happened is Kobe was stealing when they, he got in the way and it caused tackles. Like that shoelace tackle that I just used as an example, that was actually Witherspoon. But they gave it to Kobe Bryant. No. Total tackles, Witherspoon with five, Bryant with five, but most of Bryant's were stolen. Cummings with four, Jamal with three, Southern with three, Tariq Woolen. Tackle for losses, Cummings and Jaron Reed both getting one. Sacks, Reed got one. INTs, Witherspoon, Tariq Wolin, and Chandon Sullivan all have one. That is fantastic. Obviously, Sullivan had the massive, massive 83-yard return um, for the pick six. Pass deflections, Wolin had two. Cummings had one. Witherspoon had one. Four fumbles, Wolin got that one out. Yeah, and then, of course, like I said, Sullivan got the TD. I mean... Defensively, offense did nothing the entire first uh, until like two minutes left at the end of the first. And they had, what, 21 points? And then when they're on, we held them. That was just great play by the defense, except Kobe Bryant. And look who has an upgrade. Hopefully, these upgrades start turning him into a superstar because he threw the game for the most part. Shannon Sullivan showed up. He had a great day, and he gets to move up to a 75 overall. That's fantastic. Where is... I'm sorry. That was a massive boost there. Did I see that correctly? Plus three to press. I mean, his press is only 74, so that's not that big. I mean, but three is a lot. Power rusher for Calvin Bridges. That's fantastic. We definitely need that. Agility, awareness, tackle. He is a superstar. Boye Mafe goes up to a 79. All these small upgrades matter. I cannot believe we won that game. And Charles Cross, our left tackle, goes up to an 82. Man, I wish Seattle's offensive line was better IRL. But you know what? We take this. We take this. Because uh, we have one new injury. We're going to look at that in a minute. We are 10-0, and and that was a trap game that we barely escaped out of. You know, you know, everyone earned a thousand XP. I'm trying not to be negative, but the offense barely moved without me in command, and that's 
Scary, the injury. Abraham Lucas, four weeks, our right tackle is out. That is a loss we will feel on that right side. Um, certain. We're going to week 12 here against the Atlanta Falcons. That'll be next episode. No player of the week. That makes sense. But we're 10 to know. We have the Falcons in week 12. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, tag out. I want to give a special thank you to all my Patreon members. Urza and Scott, you're amazing. If you guys want to check out Patreon and join it to get a shout out at the end, check Patreon down in the link in the description below. And you can also, like Scott did, make me re-record this. Oh.